handler and a pretty cool feature that not many people use, which is called its routing form. It was an update that they did in 2023, and I want to show you around that and how you can potentially use it in your own business. So when you log into Calendly, you'll see on the left hand side, routing. And here you can see it's about qualifying a lead and matching them up to the correct meeting for yourself. So how I would do this, you would first off click new routing form and then you can add import forms or start from scratch. So in this instance, we're going to create a brand new form. So I'm going to give this a name. So I'm going to put working with IT Moon and then we're going to press create form. So here we can see it's asking us to basically get everything set up and if we want to include a headline and description. So for instance, you could put on the headline, interested in working with IT Moon. And then we can put here as a description, not sure the best way to get started working with us. No problem. Answer a few simple questions and we'll guide you to the correct method of starting with us. Probably word this at some point. And then we're gonna press save. So now we've got this little bit here and obviously you can customize, add things in, etc. So now we're gonna start building the questions. So if we add a question in here, we can ask a question, which of course we're gonna to want to know what their name is. I always like to choose the first and last name, just so that if I end up doing any automations through Zapier, that they're already split up into first name, last name, and I don't have to use like a Zapier filter step, step. And then obviously this question is required. So I'm gonna put save. And then we're gonna add another question, which is the email address and press save. And the cool thing is, what I love about the routing forms is that this information can pass through. So if I tell them to book a call in the end, I can pass all this information through to that call so they don't have to re-enter it. So we've got the first name, last name, and I'm probably just going to want to know some other simple things, such as I may want to know what their company name is. Um, I'm going to leave that as optional. And then I like to know where they heard me about me from. So I'm going to put a little drop down and put how... Did you hear about IT Moom? And then in here I can put some questions in there as well, etc. So I'm just gonna keep it simple at that. Um, next thing, we can then start to build in extra questions as well. So one of these questions could be, so it's basically kind of like a survey that we're doing. So I could say, um, we're gonna put radio boom. I'm gonna put, um, what is your budget if you were considering working with us and I can put something as simple as on here um, zero to hundred pound um hundred and one pound to you know we'll put 250 and then we might put 250 pound to 500 what 251 um, and then we might have one more which could be 501 pound plus um, I'm going to say that, you know, this is the required thing because I need to know this to decide where to guide people to. Then the next question, we could do something else. So we could do something like um, another radio button. Do you know what you need help with? Okay. And this will make sense soon. So I'm going to put yes or no and press save and then we're going to leave it as that just for this simplicity you can edit the button as well and put next and press save for instance or anything like that and now i'm going to press next myself and now we can decide on the routes that people take so now we can basically say if we press create we can say use the form answers and i can say if they say do you know what you need help with if they say no then basically I could ask another question or take them straight to a destination. So it could be, do you know what you need help with? And it could be, we can add a question in. Da, 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 da. Which one shall we add? But well, we're not going to know the budget yet. So we'll actually leave that and we're going to actually put a destination. And I can say, so they don't know what they need help with. So they need to go and book a new client meeting. That's the best route from tech. They don't know what they need help with. So they need to go to a new client meeting. And I can press save. And then I also could do, for instance, I could create another one, another route. And put, if their budget is, now let's just say it's the 0 to 100. 
I could put in a result type here where I actually take them to a different page more than likely, but I haven't got a page built. But ideally I would build a page basically saying, unfortunately none of our services would match that budget. However, why don't you do X, Y, Z? So instead I'm gonna just put a custom message for now and it could be, you know, sorry, don't think we are the right fit right now. And then I can put down here, we aren't able to offer any, any services that would match your budget, unfortunately. However, please stay in touch for if anything else changes in the future. You know, something simple as that. And um, then we can press save. So we're basically saying, right, so if they say no to this, we need to take them to the client meeting. If we're saying they know the budget is between zero to 100, then they need to go to here. And then again, I could use another one and say, right, so actually, if their budget is between 101 to 250 pounds, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them to an event type, which would be my power hour with Laura. So if their budget's around that, they can go to that, because that's priced at 177. And then again, we could have another one and we can be right. So what is your budget to be working with us? And they could say, again, it might be, we're gonna make a com much more complex one actually. So I'm just gonna press cancel on that and press okay. And I'm just gonna add another question in, which is gonna be a, we're gonna do a radio button. Do you, are you interested in an audit? And then we can put yes or no, okay? And then what we can actually do with that question now, if we press next, is we can create a route. So we can say, right, so their budget is 101 to 250. And when they asked if they was interested in an audit, they said yes. And if they did do that, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them to a business audit instead. And then we might wanna actually edit the previous one where the power hour, and then we can say, right, so if the budget was 101 to 150, because we want to make sure that we've covered all the routes and they said, no, they're not interested in audit, then that's when we want to take them to a power hour. So this is how you can create the different routes that you're going to basically go to. I mean, anything else, it just says, thanks for your interest, we can't offer anything at the moment. So if I publish this form, I'm just going to copy that link and I'm just going to load it in a guest window so you can see that I'm not logged in or anything like that. And we can see now it's asking for their details. So they could put in here, Laura, testing. I'm just going to put all my details in. So I'm going to put my budget is 101 to 250. Um, don't know what I need. I do know what I need help with and I am interested in an audit. And I'm going to press next. And then what that's going to actually do, it's going to redirect me to this page and tell me to book an audit. So then I will just go straight away and book an audit. But the good thing is, if I pick this, because I've already filled in these details here, it automatically passes them details through. So I don't have to repeat myself and put all these details in again. So that's like a brilliant way of actually being able to do that. So I'm gonna leave that be. And you can also add this to your website, like you can with everything else and do it. And then obviously you can come back in and edit it at any point. And if you ever go to responses, you can see if anyone's responsive, but they didn't actually kind of like schedule a meeting or anything like that so that you can see what went wrong or what didn't go wrong. You just have to give it a bit of thought. So like straight away, just looking at this quick one we've built, I can see an issue that we've got. So if someone put £101 to fifty, and they said, no, they don't know what they want help with, but yes, they want an audit, there's two options that they could go to. So let me show you what would happen in that instance, just so you know. So... Let's go back into here. So we know if someone puts that 101 to 250, then depend on their answer to this question, it'll depend on where they go. So yeah, they're interested in an audit, but no, they don't know what they want help with. So we also know they could get the audit here, or it could be what do you want help with? No. So that could be a new client call. So if we press next, this actually reschedules them to the new client meeting. And how that works, it basically goes like on a high accurate. High so basically on the logic, whatever's at the top is the route it would go to first. So even though it matches this route here at number four, 
it's going to take them to this one first because this is what they've answered first. So you just have to think about your logic behind it. But once you've figured that out, start with something simple maybe to start off with. You can actually start making these a bit more complicated if you need to. Um, but yeah, that is basically everything on that. So if you do have any questions, let me know. It's a cool little feature and can really help you get rid of people that you don't need to have calls with. So instance, if someone puts in the wrong budget, for instance, you can put something in. Maybe you don't work with people from certain countries or anything like that. You know, this could be something that can help save you time and also just check with before someone books with you that they have the right fit. So if you did like the video, I would love you to subscribe to our channel, drop us a comment and a like as always. We're aiming to get a lot more videos out around all the different little things as well, not just the whole bulk of what something is to help you get simple, quick wins in the future.